Hey everyone, Zoop here, and despite saying I didn't want to spend any more time on Paragon and the Naval Training Center, I feel I must right now. First, an apology for yesterday's video. Some of you have pointed out there was an extremely long outro, about 10 minutes of black screen. I got my Independence Day celebration on a little early, and I was a tad inebriated when I edited the video. It was 2 a.m., and suffice to say, quality control was lax. So apologies for the amateur hour. Just consider that black screen symbolic of things that might pass if the current course is not changed. Now, back to Paragon. I want to make myself explicitly clear. I am against any mechanics inclusion that even slightly resembles a pay-to-win model. I am against the inclusion of anything that gives one ship an advantage over that very same ship due to an upgrade. I am with you, the community, on this one. I always try to take a very centrist approach to the game, to the best of my ability at least. The CV rework was a black and white issue, split among the community. There were quite a few people against it, and there were quite a few people for it. This situation, however, is not. I have never seen the inclusion of something to this game that has garnered such an immediate negative response from the overwhelming majority. The only other things I can think of was the Alabama Super Tester camouflage and the West Virginia. And the outcry to those were loud. So loud that Wargaming immediately made changes. With Paragon, I have not seen any positive comments regarding the system. And that is telling. Very telling. As a community contributor, it is my position to side with the community on this due to the overwhelming opposition. Paragon might have been created with nothing but the best intentions. but. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, and sometimes great ideas aren't necessarily good ideas. Players are worried, and so am I. I don't want this game to go down this road. Players don't need gimmicks like this to keep playing. They need options and game modes. I suggested a prestige system a long time ago in a video. Work up a tech tree line, prestige, and start over. You can even create prestige XP so players can't use their current XP to just take a free pass to tier 10 again give unique camouflage rewards for prestiging, or add tally marks to ships, there is a lot you can do. But four years on, it's a little late in the game to implement something like this. It's not too late, though. Paragon could work, but only if cosmetic rewards are provided. I don't think anything should be included that makes a ship stronger, unless the ship has to give up something in return. This is what makes the legendary modules work. It's a long grind to get them. You get something unique, but you have to give up something in return. Premium consumables are a powerful item that not enough players use. Using them gives you a distinct advantage over a player not using them. Despite this, all players have the ability to use them for credits. So all but the most credit strapped players can use them. Adding upgrades for ships reeks of World of Tanks and World of Warplanes. We don't need that. Wargaming has a chance to listen to the community now. I'm sure they've seen the feedback. The next move will be telling and quite possibly make or break. The ball is in their court. To reiterate, I stand with you on this. Zoop out.